2024. With just a little more than three weeks to go before the election, revivals are breaking out in capital cities across America. Believers are gathering to pray for our country and worship God. Boy, do we need that. Carolyn Ryan is live in Atlanta with more. Hey, Carolyn. Hi there, good to see you. Yeah, so in about an hour and a half at 4 o'clock Eastern, hundreds, perhaps even thousands of believers are going to gather here in this green space behind me. We're right in front of the Georgia State Capitol here in downtown Atlanta. The, the band is getting set up, doing some sound checks, preparing to welcome this large crowd. They're going to be here to, to pray for America, uh, to worship God, and they're also going to be collecting donations for the hurricane victims in western North Carolina. Now, the organizer of these revivals is a a man by the name of Sean Foyt, and he is a Christian singer and activist, and it, it's all part of his Kingdom to the Capital tour launched in 2023, which endeavors to hold a revival in every capital city in America by the end of 2024. I want you to take a look at some of the sights and sounds from the most recent revival in the Keystone State, Pennsylvania, just last weekend. Watch. And so far, they've held 47 revivals in 47 cities with just three to go, including today's here in Asheville. So, excuse me, in Atlanta. Uh, and with that, let's bring in the organizer of these revivals, Sean Foyt. Thank you so much for joining us. So good to be here. Good to have you. So I want to ask you, so we are in battleground, Georgia. Obviously, Georgia is critical uh, in this upcoming election. What's your goal here today? Well, listen, I got some good news. I know that this hour in America, it's rare, but we got good news because God is moving. And in these swing states, we were in Pennsylvania last week, we're in Georgia, we're going to be in North Carolina tomorrow, and then we're ending, ending this whole tour in Arizona. And man, the church is rising up. We are so excited to see pastors and leaders getting that courage back, getting that boldness back to stand up for truth, stand up for what's right. It's significant that we're right in front of the state capitol declaring, you know, God is on the throne over Georgia. We are the church of Jesus Christ. We're not backing down. It's really incredible. And to your point, you know, for decades, I think traditionally, faith leaders have been reluctant to bring politics into the pulpit. Why is that? And do you think is now is the time for change? Yeah, I mean, the stakes are too high with this election right now. The stakes are too high. And I think, you know, a lot of people don't understand the power of the church. If we simply show up and vote our values, America would be changed overnight. So what you're going to see today is people from across all different spectrums, ethnicities, backgrounds, really a church of unity today in Georgia, which is what we need to see show up on Election Day to turn the tide in America. Well, and speaking of that, Christians are such a critical voting block. Do you think or are you confident Christians, especially young Christians, maybe who aren't political or or maybe just don't love Donald Trump? Do you think they're going to show up to vote this election? Well, it's a big part of our heart, you know, is we got to you got to change the heart, you know, before you change the vote. And so we're believing today that after this two year journey, right, of going to all 50 U.S. capitals, seeing over hundreds of thousands of people join us, we're going to believe that God is going to use every single person that came, every single person that viewed this. And yeah, I do believe this is the year we're going to witness a miracle. And we do need the church to vote. And it has to happen in states like Georgia, like Pennsylvania, like Arizona. These are the states where it's crucial that the church shows up, that they vote their values, and that they stand up for what's right. Last question for you. You're also collecting uh, donations for the victims of the hurricane in western North Carolina. Carolina. What are you asking folks to bring and when is when are those uh, goods going to be delivered? Yeah, it's really special. We just went and rented the last U-Haul we could find in Atlanta and the last pickup truck. I went to seven different enterprise uh, locations to find one and we're asking people to bring uh, 
donations of diapers, uh, baby formula, wipes, uh, blankets, because it's starting to get cold up there. And tomorrow we're having a massive church service at 9 a.m. in Asheville, North Carolina, where we're providing hot meals. We're going to love on people. We're going to pray, and it's going to be awesome. Great. Thank you so much for joining us. Best of luck today, Sean. Appreciate it. Yeah, so after uh, today here in Atlanta, then they head to Raleigh, North Carolina. And then the final revival, as Sean said, is going to be in Phoenix, Arizona. And Sean has uh, said, uh, and I've seen it on his social media, media is saying here today he feels like God is on the move for this election, Rob. Watch, and boy, we need more of this in America. Coming up, a major win for high school